I don't do intros. How you guys doing today? I'm doing all right today. Today I have for you guys a brand new build on the channel and this one is kind of special to me because I didn't really even make this one. This one was made by people who hang out in my stream. So, um, my chatters if you will. So we'll talk about that and all that stuff, um, but first guys, if you guys wouldn't mind liking and subscribing the video, man. Trying to get to a thousand subs before the end of the year. I think we can do it if we're tenacious enough. We're really close right now, man. We, we've passed the 850 mark. We're closer to 860. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys would just, you know, drop me a sub. I would really fucking appreciate it. Um... Also, go follow my Twitch if you haven't already, because like I said, uh, this build was made by people who hang out on my stream, and I'll be honest with you, I love this build. It's like, I, it was supposed to be like a one-off thing that we just like created to have fun with, and then I ended up loving this build so much that I want to keep it and turn it into an actual character, which is what this video is going to do. It's kind of how I make a, a process with my builds is, uh, to me, my build's not finished until I make a video and explain the characters lore and explain the idea behind the build and whatnot the the aesthetic the theme and all that stuff um so here's that video doing that and uh yeah so let's get into the uh i guess the the gamey part of the build then we'll talk about the characters lore and shit like that you guys know i love to make lore with my characters i like to make thematic builds and whatnot um to me it's just the best way to have fun with Elden ring honestly um, I never take this game's uh, mechanics or PvP too seriously. I, I know it seems like I know what I'm doing in these videos. You know, I'm over here fighting gank squads and winning and shit like that. 1v3, like, it's easy. But truthfully, invasions aren't that hard, man. And I'm not the best pvp -er in the world. Um, I just, you know, play the game a lot. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll make a video about, about like, uh, pvp stuff and whatnot. You know, how to get better and shit like that. Or how I make my build, specifically. Um, but first guys, let's uh, let's talk about this build, the gamey part of the build. Um, so at its core, uh, this build is a Dex Faith build at level 168. The reason why we went to go to uh, 168 for the build is because I think at 168 you you barely avoid meta range. Um, personally, man, lately to me at least. I really have been disliking uh, meta invasions, 125, 150, just not my cup of tea. Um, really it's because when you uh, when you queue those kind of invasions, I say queue, but when you invade at those levels, you are specifically trying to find players that are looking for PvP. So it makes sense that you'd find a lot of duelists and a lot of gang squads at that level because people are looking to do those kind of things at that level. Um, now they still do do that at 80 and 200 as well, uh, but it's less frequent, I, I believe. Um, that being said, this is a dex faith build at 168. I believe we have 50 dex and 60 faith. Um, you could do 40 decks and 70 faith if you want, and that would be fine if you want your spells to like absolutely slap. And I might still switch the stats around, but for me, um, the reason why I even came up with this build to begin with is because I was streaming one day and I was like, you know, I kind of want to change this character right here around. I don't really like what I'm doing with this character. What kind of build would you guys like to see, chat? And then someone said something about Black Flame stuff, and then someone said something about flails. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but the flail type of uh, weapon in this game, or it's probably my second favorite weapon. Like, it goes great swords and then flails for me. I absolutely love flails, man. And people will always underestimate that weapon until this game dies. Uh, <laughs> To me, man, flails are so much better than people give them credit for. Um, if you guys want to see a flail video, let me know, because I, I have now three different builds that use flails. Two of them use Knight Rider flail, the other one uses Bastard Stars. Um, admittedly, those two uh, flails are the best ones in the game. Um, maybe I'll do a video with family heads, too. I don't know. We'll see. Um, flails are a lot better than people give them credit for, that's for sure. Uh... But yeah, someone said something about flails, and then I was like, okay, I want to make a build that optimizes flails. 
So I did, and then I also, you know, they were talking about uh, Black Flame stuff in my Twitch chat. By the way, my Twitch is DustInSanity underscore on Twitch. Make sure you guys go and follow me over there. Um, we do invasions multiple times a week live, typically early in the morning, uh, EST, NA. But, um, yeah. Well, I said early in the morning. It's more like in the, in the afternoon, kind of. Um, anyway, so that's how we ended up with this Dex uh, Faith Black Flame build. And uh, I absolutely loved it. Chat picked everything on this build, by the way. Uh, the weapon was uh, the Knight Rider Flail. That's the first weapon that they uh, decided they wanted to see. And then this fashion was completely chosen by chat. And I, I think this fashion is really fucking sick, man. I love it. I love this fashion. Um, so now I guess we should uh, talk about the character and whatnot. Uh, so this character is called the Godskin Cleric. Now in lore, I believe that uh, when the Godskins were born, as in like when they were made, uh, the Glomide Queen would uh, hold them in this like cloth made of uh, skin, obviously, because they, they just like skin. This guy got absolutely destroyed, by the way. He's not even done yet being destroyed. He's about to get wrecked by Scouring Black Flame. <laughs> Can we talk about Scouring Black Flame real quick? I feel like people hate Scouring Black Flame. I used to hate Scouring Black Flame, but I think they did something with this spell. I don't remember it, it the arc of this weapon, or not weapon, I, I don't remember the arc of this spell being so low. It seems like it's, it's different now. I, I don't know why. Like, I remember I used to hate this spell because you could never land it. But now it seems like I'm landing it a lot. Like I, I landed it right after that guy got backstabbed, right? It was it was a wake up. This guy got destroyed by the shoulder here. Um, anyway, let's talk about the character. Um, so this guy, he was born um, into servitude of the Glomide Queen. Um, he became kind of like a, you know a devout worshiper of her. He was he was born in. I like to imagine that he. Um, you know, he rose to like some kind of rank that's not apostle or noble. Um, I don't know if those were the only two ranks in the, uh, you know, in the worship of the Glomide Queen. But for this guy, it wasn't. He got absolutely destroyed right here, by the way. I love backstabbing people. It's my favorite pastime. <laughs> anyway, um, so he became a cleric of the Glomide Queen. And, you know, he was like, you know, a part of her... Uh, I don't want to say military because I don't think that's correct, but you know, he was part of the Godskins. And uh, during this, not the Shattering, um, during the war that happened between the Glomide Queen and Queen Merica, when Malakath was sent to kill the Glomide Queen, he was, uh, he was a captured as a prisoner of war. This is why we have this helmet on. Um, I know what you thinking this guy is called the cleric the godskin cleric but he doesn't have any of the the godskin uh, skin stuff on but he's not wearing anything like the noble or the uh the apostle armor anything like he doesn't he doesn't have any of that stuff the only thing that he has is his black flame that kind of ties him in well that's because he was taken prisoner uh during that whole scuffle with malakav when malakav went and killed the glomide queen or defeated her whatever you think happened um so he was taken prisoner, and during one of these, uh, you know, um, what are those things called? Those envoys? Those, those, uh, those, you know, those big car uh, coffins that are being carried around and stuff like that. These, uh, these escorts. He was in one of those, and he broke out. Um, now this helmet that he has on his head, this is Blackguard's helmet. Um, he was a prisoner as well. Uh, only this helmet was a. Uh, was bolted and his lips were burnt off his tongue was tug his tongue uh, uh, sorry guys I can't really talk straight his uh, his tongue was cut out his lips were burnt off and this helmet was bolted onto his head um, I kind of like modeled him after Havoc if you guys you know know anything about Mortal Kombat I kind of wanted him to look like Havoc a little bit where you know uh, Havoc's uh, 
lower jaw and stuff like that is completely exposed. Uh, also, cleric of chaos, you know, cleric of uh, of the god skin and whatnot. Kind of similar, right? Kind of similar. Um. Anyway, so that's kind of the lore of this guy and the stuff that he has. He just found. He's you know he's a prisoner on the run. Um. You know, he still knows all these faith spells because he's still loyal to the Glomide Queen. And these weapons that he picked up, the Knight Rider Flail, um, obviously there's two um, Knight Cavalry guys that are uh, escorting those uh, that big old cart or whatever in the Consecrated Snow. So maybe that's where he escaped that. And uh, when he did, he stole their weapon. Um, and this bow, of course, he stole everything he has, he pretty much stole, even the clothes on his back. And uh, that's pretty much the lore of the character. You guys know I like to make lore with my characters. Hope you guys enjoy that kind of bit. I know some people do. Some people probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But, you know, it's something I like to do. Something I like to add to the character to make me want to play them. Um, and stuff like that, man. Um, speaking of, like, role-playing your character in an RPG. Um, I guess I'll talk about this here. Because I just beat... Baldur's Gate 3, um, the PS5 release of the game, and I have to say that game is probably an 8.9 out of 10. It'll probably get bumped to a 9, possibly a 9.5 when they release more patches. I absolutely love that game, and I'm thinking about also streaming it, so if you guys want to see some Baldur's Gate 3 action, I might stream it around uh, Monday or so, um, early in the morning, EST, afternoon, kind of. Um, again, go follow my Twitch if you haven't already, because I, I, I stream there quite a bit nowadays. I used to not, but now I do. Um, and I appreciate anybody who comes and hangs out with me. Um, if you guys uh, want to know when I go live, you should just check this YouTube channel, because sometimes I post when I go live. Actually, every time I go live, I post. Um, but yeah, guys. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this video, man. I've, I'm kind of just chilling at this point. Um, how do you guys feel about the S-Stock, by the way? I've, uh, some people hate the S-Stock now. I kind of just wanted to throw it on the build to see what it does. You know, this is the... For me, making like a pure dex build is kind of strange. But here we are. And, uh, you know, I have 50 decks for this build. Anyway, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of content. It's kind of build making content. It's kind of PvP content, invasions, duels. I do it all. Um, if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a like on subscribe on the video, man. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs before the end of the year. I know we can do it if we are tenacious enough. Um, thank you guys for watching, man. And with that being said, fare thee well. Peace out. All that fun stuff. I'll see you guys later, man.